सी आई टी एन सी आर टी प्रेजेंट्स टू यू दीरीज नेक्टर ऑफ पोएट्री फ्रेंड्स इन दिस सीरीज वी ब्रिंग टू यू द पोएम्स बाय सम वेल नोन पोएट्स ऑफ इंग्लिश इन दिस प्रोग्राम वी ब्रिंग टू यू द पोएम द टाइगर बाय विलियम ब्लेक विलियम ब्लेक वॉज एन इंग्लिश पोएट एंड फिलोसोफर ही लिव्ड बिटवीन सेवनटीन फिफ्टी सेवन and 1827 Blake was considered mad by his contemporaries and only a later generation could recognize his greatness Blake is famous for his two poetry collections Songs of Innocence and Songs of Experience His poetry reflects the relationships between nature and man divinity and humanity He stated that religion should not discourage earthly joy since these themes were abstract Blake was not very sure that artists could illustrate his poems so he himself engraved images on copper plate which was a complex and laborious process these were set along with his poems Now let's read a poem from his collection Songs of Experience. Blake believed that human beings need to be exposed to both innocence and experience. The same God who created the lamb also created the tiger. Let's read the poem The Tiger. Tiger, tiger, burning bright. in the forests of the night what immortal hand or eye could frame thy fearful symmetry in what distant deeps or skies burned the fire of thine eyes on what wings dare he aspire what the hand dare seize the fire and what shoulder and what art could twist the sinews of thy heart and when thy heart began to beat what dread hand and what dread feet what the hammer what the chain and what furnace was thy brain what the anvil what dread grasp dare its deadly terror clasp when the stars threw down their spears and watered heaven with their tears Did he smile his work to see did he who made the lamb make thee tiger tiger burning bright in the forests of the night what immortal hand or eye dare frame thy fearful symmetry the poet begins with a sense of wonder at the great power and strength of the tiger He asks from where did such frightening yellow eyes come and who dared to handle that fire what kind of physical or supernatural strength is required to create such a creature the narrator also wonders how or when the horrible heart of the tiger began to throb with life its creator could continue the work of developing the complete animals god or the creator is pictured as a blacksmith the narrator wonders of what great size and strength would be the hammer and the anvil that could create such a fearsome being the poem consists of a set of questions left unanswered this is because god's creation is too complex and awesome to be reduced to simple statements But friends when you read this poem originally you will notice that the word tiger is spelled differently it doesn't spell as t i g e r rather it spells t y g e r this was the spelling in the 18th century sometimes spelling changes across countries for instance the word color with spelling c o l o u r is british english 
and is spelt differently in American English, where it is spelt as C O L O R. Can you think of a few such more examples where the words are spelt differently? Friends, you were just listening to this program. Subject coordination, Dr. Ravindra Kumar. Subject expert, Dr. Vardha M. Nikalje. Support, Department of Education in Languages. Artist, Rajat Sen Gupta. Recorded by Bati Langlingdo. Production assistants, Vimlesh Chaudhary. Directed and produced by Ajit Horo. This program is presented to you by CIET NCERT, New Delhi, India.